Yeah, yeah, yeah! Get up, my friend, and get out here! Don't you know that the thing that you need, the thing that you want, is out here in the world, my friend? So I challenge you to get up and align your energy, my friend, and feel the God in you. This is the day that the Lord has made, and we shall rejoice and be glad in it. But you got to feel it, so that means you got to dig within you and cultivate it, and then get out here and give it to the world. Or, or... Would you rather sit in the house and hide and continue to make excuses? Look at what they did to me. Look at what happened to me. It's all on you, my friend. All of the answers to life problems are in the mirror. So look what you need to do. Cultivate your energy. Identify the God in you and get out here in the world and do the thing that you're afraid of. But you know you need to do. Do the thing that you've been procrastinating on because you know that's what you need, because guess what? If you continue to sit in that house and worry and blame the person or thing that did whatever they did to you, guess what you're doing? You're giving it power. You're giving it power. And here's why. Because your mind, your mind is a shining light. And here's how, right? See, your mind it not only illuminates whatever, it not only lights up, makes brighter whatever you choose to shine it on, but also whatever you shine your mind on, it becomes a reflection of you. And here's how, because we attract whatever we think about most often. It don't matter if your thoughts are geared toward that person or geared toward that thing. The universe registers, with, registers whatever you give it and brings it back to you. So it's all coming for you. That's why wishing evil or negativity on other people is only wishing evil and negativity onto yourself. This is why you got to control that shining light. You got to control your mind, my friend, at all costs. Because nothing's more expensive than you not controlling that. Besides, the thing that you're blaming, the people that you're blaming, it takes power. You're giving it your power. You're giving it your energy. And here's the, here's the thing. It's the same energy you're giving it that you need to fix the situation. Ain't that something? You got to feel it. Ah. See, here's three reasons why you got to control your mind. Three reasons. See, it's important to always, not sometime, but always know what you're shining your mind on, right? Because the battery never dies and the light never turns off. So your mind is always operational, even when you're asleep, my friend. That's why you gotta fill your subconscious with all good things. So that whatever comes out of you, whatever you focus on, whatever you give your attention to, your focus, your energy goes, so you magnify it. And that's what you gotta stop. Only fill yourself with things that you wanna magnify, right? Words, thoughts, and actions. Number two, number two, this you gotta understand, that your mind is the most powerful force in all the world because your thoughts they can penetrate any surface. Nothing, no other force, no other creation in this world can penetrate any force, any surface rather. Your mind can, your thoughts can. That's how powerful you are. Stop wasting your energy, my friend. And number three, you gotta understand that if you control your mind, Cultivate that energy, connect with the God in you, connect with the, 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 the wisdom of God, the power of God. You know what I'm saying? And the spirit of God in you can't lose. When you control your mind, you control your life. You were born to be great.